Hi everyone. In this part of Laravel tutorial series, we will talk about routing in Laravel. First of all, I will tell you what is routing. Then we will learn how we can make some routes in Laravel. We will check how we can uh, open the views with routing, how we can pass data with the routing, how anchor tags can be used with the routing, how we can redirect one page to the another page with the routing. And there are some methods also for routing. We will go through with these methods also. And at last, we will discuss some important interview questions related to routing. And they will definitely help you in the interviews also. All right. So let's move on. First question: What is routing? So you can say that routing is a path for opening a web page, or you can say that this is a URL for opening a web page. For example, you have a website which is www.test.com, and in this website code there is a file which is welcome.php, and if you want to open this file, what you need to do? You have to uh, put your domain name which is test uh, www.test.com, and then your file name. Which is welcome.php. So here you can see that on the screen, this is the complete route or the URL for the welcome.php file, and this is what we call the routing, right? But this is the uh, you can say that routing or URL in the core PHP, not in the Laravel. Ra Laravel have uh, you can say that little bit advanced level of routing. With the help of Laravel routing, you can hide the extension. Maybe you don't want to show like in which programming language you are making a website, all right? Or maybe you want to change the route. You don't want to uh, keep the route name and file name same, right? Maybe you want to just show this welcome.php on the home uh, page, right? Then how you can do that? In Laravel, you can simply do that with the help of routing methods. So let's say uh, by default we have a file which is welcome.blade.php in Laravel. And if you want to open it like localhost 8000 8, port and then home, this is also possible. You can open your blade.welcome.blade.php uh, welcome on this route, even on the route with the welcome uh, uh, URL or anything, whatever you want to put. That welcome file can be opened in the any of these route, right? So that's why we can say that Laravel is a bit advanced level of routing. You can hide the extension, you can change the uh, route name and lots of other things also that we'll learn in this part. All right. So let me give you one more example that here you can understand easily uh, about the routing. So this is the official website of the php.com uh, php which is php.net and there is a file docs.php in the server, right? And if we want to open this, what do we need, need to do? Either we can directly click on the documentation, so it will automatically redirect it to this route. Or either what you can do, you can simply mention there docs.php, right? So this is the route or URL for our uh, docs.php file, all right? So I hope you get it. Now let's see how we can make routes in the Laravel. So for that, we need to move on the code. And you know that we define the all of our route inside the uh, routes and then web.php file and by default this is the route if you just want to visit this site here you can see that welcome.php actually i just change the code for uh, this file which is welcome.blade.php i just remove the default code and put this single h1 uh, tag right so that's why this is visible but you, as i told you you can change uh, its route also by default the file name is welcome.php even if you want then you can change it like home it will definitely work then if you want to change it like welcome now it will not work on this page now you have to just uh, put there welcome route there and this is working fine so this is a single route so let's say you want to make one more route then how, what you can do simply if you want you can copy and paste this function and give the route and file name let me show you first let's create one more route so let's say my route name each is home dot blade.php right and i want to make a route for this and let me just put some text also there which is uh let's say home page right so if you want to directly try to open it like home it will not work right you have to define a route for this and you can simply put their route its method name which is uh get we are using the get methods there then home if you want to open this file on the home after that put function and there you can return you can use the view and there pass home you don't need to put dot blade dot php extension just put the prefix there right 
and it will definitely work don't forget to put the semicolons and now you can see that this is working if you want to open it in some other page for example on by default you are opening the welcome on the home you are opening this one if you just want to put their test it will still work fine on the test url and if you want for one file you can define the multiple routes also so for example on the test and the home for both the same home will be work for test as well as for the home this is working fine all right so there is a one more way to if you directly want to use the views because right now these are the home files but with the routes we also call the controllers so but for example if you want to directly call the view then there is a simple method also you can directly put their view uh, route then view method inside this put the route name for example if you want to put their home and then your file name which is again home all right and now see this is still working fine all right so we know that uh, here you can see uh, okay let's back uh, to this thing so we know that how we can make routes how we can uh, uh, open the views with the routes right now let's see how we can pass the data uh, what do, do i mean to pass the data here you can see that in the this uh, slides url there you can see the dac 464e60442 uh, right this is the url so this is with dynamic url and this will be getting changed with the slides so maybe you want to put some data maybe let's say you want to make a route which is about and with after the about you want to put the username like about anil about peter about john right you want to just make, like my uh, want to make like this then what you need to do there you have to get this secondary url inside your code in the route file or in the view file and then you can make it dynamically so let me show you how we can do that so we can create one more file there which is about dot blade dot php and inside this for a moment you can simply say that about page right and let's make a simple route first so let me copy and paste it to save our time like this and now let me put there about and our, our view name also which is about cool and here you can see that this is perfectly working fine so now i want to put there some name let's say anil then it will not work fine because this url don't know like there is a uh, two things right uh, primary url and secondary url after the domain name or the server name so we have to tell that like there is a one more url so what you can do that for just put their slash and then curly braces and you can put like name right so you are getting name id anything you uh, whatever you want to put you can do that after that let's take a parameter like name and just simply echo this like this and now you will find this is perfectly working fine and name is also visible whatever you are passing in the url so if i'm passing passing their peter still this this is working fine all right but the thing is we are able to access this uh, uh data peter thing in the route file in the web.php but how we can get it in the view that's also simple what you need to do simply pass the second parameter there so just use the array and array name you can put anything i'm putting name and then dollar name like this so whatever you are mentioning their name id username whatever you're doing you can use this key in your blade file and uh, means in viewer view file so i'm taking one more h1 tag and inside this you have to use a double curly braces and then simply put a dollar name and let's check the output first this is completely working fine all right so now you can ask one question there so what are these double curly braces see uh, I know we have to make a separate part on the blade extension like what is the blade.php uh, things I'll tell you but this these two braces actually related to the blade blade can understand whatever you are writing inside the double curly braces it will understand like this is a variable right and we are passing data from web.php to the view so this got to understand like we are passing the name thing name variable there and that's why this is working fine so if i'm just putting try to put that test because we are not passing anything like test right so it will not work here you can see that perfect so we have to mention whatever we are passing there you have to put the same variable name there all right cool so the next thing how we can use the anchor tag so let's say we have a blade a home.blade.php and there i want to make some links so i just make a link for about page 
So I just want to put there about anil. Right, and in the URLs, you can simply mention about and then username. We can make this name dynamic also. Uh, so let's say for moment we are putting there anil, and if you have one more URL, then you can say that let's say about Peter or something, and then just pass like this. And uh, these are the anchor tags, right? And similarly, I'm taking one more URL and I'm putting there for welcome, right? So welcome is loading on the default screen. So the URL uh, href link will be blank. And then you can, you can see that welcome page. And now if you will open their home page like this, uh, and you can see that there are three uh, links. So these are the anchor tags and they will help us to move to the other page with the help of this link thing, right? So if I just click on the about Anil, you can see that about page Anil, about Peter, still working fine, about page Peter and click on the, uh, you can see that welcome dot uh, welcome page. This is moving on the welcome, right? So the next thing that we need to explore, which is how we can redirect one URL to another URL. URL. Redirecting simply means so let's say you want to uh, redirect one route to the another route. For example, you don't want to open their uh, home page. So if anyone want to visit the home page, you will automatically redirect to the user to the uh, main page. How you can do that? You can simply do that in the web.php. So what you need to do? Simply make route and redirect then mention home and first URL whatever page you want to redirect and second parameter where you want to redirect. So I want to redirect home page to the uh, root page or main page. So now you can see that if I'm trying to open the home page, it will not work. It will automatically redirect it to the uh, root page. All right. Yeah. So there are lots of routing methods for, for a moment in this part, we learned two. First one is route get method. Second one is route view method. But these are the another methods also, which is get post put patch delete options. So these things we basically use with the APIs and forms and also. So whenever we will uh, make videos on API, form data and all, that time uh, I'll make uh, one more part. They will discuss all of these route, how we can use them. All right. But for a moment, this is all about the basic things and necessary things to start with the uh, for the uh, routing in Laravel. So I hope uh, you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for this video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel, like this video, share your feedback in the comment section and this is my Paytm number for donation. Thanks guys.